Hello, this is Kirsten Smith, Collections Curator at the Alberni Valley Museum. Today, on Museum at Home, we're looking at British Columbia's first paper mill, which is built right here in Port Alberni. Here, we're looking at a model that recreates that first paper mill in BC. The mill operated from 1894 to 1896 on the banks of the Somas River. The model was commissioned by Macmillan Blodell in 1972 as part of their celebrations for the 25th anniversary of the Alberni Pulp and Paper Division, which today we know as Catalyst. The model commemorates early history of paper production in the Alberni Valley. Built by B&B Scale Models in Vancouver, M&B then gifted the model to the Alberni Valley Museum. Plans for the paper mill began with Herbert Carmichael in 1891. Herbert had studied and received honours in chemistry back in England, and soon after his arrival in British Columbia, he set up the British Columbia Paper Manufacturing Company, of which he was the secretary and primary shareholder. On April 27, 1891, he bought Lot 7 on the Somas River from John Mollett and John C. Mollett, who had preempted it a few years earlier. Preemption was a method of acquiring land from the government back then. Herbert Carmichael and the company directors hoped to have the mill running by the end of that year. William Hewartson, a retired papermaker living in Victoria, was hired as manager and he began bringing materials over from England. In July of 1891, a contractor was hired to build a dam on the Somas River at what is today Paper Mill Dam Park. The location provided lots of fresh, clear water for the paper making process and was surrounded by timber. However, the contractors were unfamiliar with the river, and after several days of rain, all their work was washed away. But they tried again. In 1892, Robert H. Wood was hired to build the dam, a paper mill, a small sawmill, and the flume that would connect the water wheels to the two mills. In the spring of 1892, a used and dismantled paper machine arrived from Scotland. Bought by William Hewitson, it included six granite millstones. During the summer, the workmen scraped off the rust and polished the machine pieces, which would then be hauled to the mill site by Andrew Service's oxen. Albert Carmichael, Herbert's cousin, had arrived from England to help with the construction. In a letter home to his mother in 1892, Albert wrote, Oxen are used here instead of horses. They are awfully slow in their movements, but nevertheless are most useful as they can work where a horse cannot. We use a fine pair. Tom and Dick, for logging. In 1893, William Hewitson was asked to resign for his failure to get the mill operating as planned. But they did finally complete the mill, and it produced its first paper in 1894. Mostly wrapping paper was produced, not to be confused with colored gift wrap, but plain paper used to wrap different products. We have a number of samples in the museum of the different kinds of paper made at the mill. They were collected by Alfred Carmichael when he worked at the mill and given to the city in 1947. Employees worked long hours, 12-hour shifts Monday to Friday and 6-hour shifts on the weekend. Albert Carmichael remembered working a 60-hour week in the mill in 12- and 6-hour shifts, switching weekly from day to night shifts, with Sunday off once every two weeks. He made $30 a month, and out of that he paid $23 in board to the Thompsons, who ran the general store. However, the productivity of the BC Paper Manufacturing Company was severely limited by the fact that most of their machinery and their labourers were brought over from the British Isles, and neither were well suited to deal with Vancouver Island's climate and resources. The machines had been designed to make paper from cloth. In England, there would be a steady supply of worn clothing and rags to make paper from, but in colonial British Columbia, that wasn't the case. The small sawmill attached to the paper mill began operating in 1893, but attempts to produce wood pulps were largely unsuccessful. Thus, despite being surrounded by rich forests, the company was short on materials. So when they were faced with insufficient quantities of rags, which were shipped sporadically from England at great expense, they experimented. They tried making paper out of old sails and rope. In this example, you can see they even tried to make paper out of bracken fern. Although the Carmichael cousins attempted to keep the mill going with assistance from new investors, they did not succeed, and the last run of paper was made in the autumn of 1896. In 1915, the dam was destroyed. 
Dominion Fisheries gave instructions for its removal to allow salmon to be able to migrate to their natural spawning grounds further up the Somas River. In 1948, Blodell, Stewart, and Welsh, the precursor to Macmillan Blodell, made a monument out of six of the paper mill's original millstones. They stood on display for many years at the pulp mill on Stamp Avenue. In 2016, the monument was moved to Victoria Quay, where it is now a focal point of the appropriately named Millstone Park. Meanwhile, the site of British Columbia's first paper mill, now known as Paper Mill Dam Park, has long been a popular swimming hole and picnic spot.